So uh, this thing uh, gives basically sends a picture to a responder. Uh, so a responder stands behind the portal and receives an alert in to his uh, portable device. This way, a responder can take away people who are alerted from the crowd and invite them for secondary screening. Uh, we're enjoying generally pretty low pulse alert rate, and it is also tunable depending on the sensitivity of system. It is between we can do it between two and ten percent uh, pulse alert. So right now, let's do a little demo. Right? Where can you walk without anything? Just walk uh, without. He has a, he's a, uh, a little uh, vest. And you see there is nothing in the vest, no alert. Right now we're, we're loading, uh, that's a simulant, it's about 800 grams of uh, a solid simulant, which simulates TNT. And now we're loading it in the, into the pocket. And uh, let's see, uh, you see the sound uh, and the alert, and this picture of the person who has alerted appears here, actually twice even now in this case, on the uh, handheld device and here, uh, this is control center uh, screen as well. Julia will also show, demonstrate different type of, uh, of an explosive. This is a, a, a how they call it, a granular, granular type uh, simulant of explosives. That simulates ammonium nitrate, uh, again, 450 gram each. So it's a little, just below one kilo. And uh, you see right away, again, two alerts here, the, the pictures will appear there as well at the library, well, archive of all alerts. Uh, let's uh, demonstrate something different. Let's also demonstrate how the backpack works. Guys, can you please do the backpack right now? I think the backpack is interesting. This piece, for example, just uh, is a plastic explosive. So this one simulates C4, but we also uh, enhanced it with a uh, ceramic fragmentation. On top of it, there is ceramic fragmentation. You can touch it, with, unfortunately, you cannot see through. Uh, so this uh, type of uh, ID is not visible to any um, metal detector or anything, definitely. And uh, let's see, uh, our device is capable of detecting this. Uh, uh, difficult device. Right now also a backpack. You see a backpack is empty. I'm loading two kilos of a granular explosive into a backpack. We're assuming a bigger payloads in the backpack. It doesn't mean that we cannot work on the smaller payloads, but we assume usually backpacks are loaded with a much bigger payloads, eight kilos and up. So the system cannot sit uh, through the person, but the moment that when he passes through the, in between the pillars, we are able to look behind the person, and then alert is actually also uh, pops up on the screen. And uh, lastly, but again, what's quite important, we also can detect the, the weapon. Can you maybe hold it behind your back, just to demonstrate that this is how we can work. So right now, no, that was, a, that was a miss. Can you do it once again? Sometimes, well, definitely you cannot expect a 100% detection. Sometimes we do miss, but uh, uh, unfortunately, if we miss it on, uh, during the demonstration. So that's the, uh, that's the an, an alert uh, for, for weapon. Uh, it, it actually, we have a different color, uh, a different color frame uh, when the weapon alert is happening. And guys, can you do, just walk together just to demonstrate how one is being alerted and you are not, yeah, you're clear, clear. So, uh, you see, system, I will, I will, if system immediately picks up the guy who actually did, uh, who, who, who did carry and not the person who did not. So that's, uh, that's it. Uh, approximately this is how it works. We are able to work and already have proven this. We are able to work uh, about four, about seven, uh, up to six and or seven thousand people per hour with a very large throughputs. Uh, and, uh, what to say? We are hoping that it will change uh, the future security and uh, will become a new type of security checkpoint in the world. How many countries do you export so far? So far, we have uh, Belgium, we have uh, Turkey, we have Singapore, and uh, we will have Thailand, by the way, very very soon. But uh, I do believe uh, we will. Uh, have a projects in Middle East, uh, in Qatar, 
we have projects in France, uh, and I think I hope if we are doing everything right, we will complete this, those projects also successfully, and in the and in UK by the way. Uh, what is important? We're doing tests with the uh, uh, with the governmental bodies. We're doing tests with uh, in UK with the uh, CPNI. Uh, in Holland with the TNO, but with the, all the special forces usually around the world as well. Uh, so it is a long, of course, uh, process, but uh, hopefully uh, it will make the world a little bit better. And what kind of tenders do you attend? Tenders? No, we don't. We actually, so far, we don't even we don't apply for tenders. We start project when uh, it's a very long, usually like with an airport. We start project when they are looking for something to enhance their security. It's not even a tender. So we come very early. They're trying it, and they try to, because they need to change their operations. In fact, they cannot uh, use it the same way as metal walker metal detector. So they try and they see if this is going to be use well usable and. Uh, reasonable for them to uh, introduce something like this. For example, airports, they introduce it at the front gates. In many airports, they don't have the front doors. They don't have anything there. Uh, and uh, normally, even if the tender is there, uh, it's not going to be for metal detectors, but for some new type of uh, security checks, which are a little bit faster. Generally, people don't want to create a bottleneck at the, at the gate. Uh, so. Uh, and so far, we being very young, we haven't done uh, really any just straight tenders. All of the projects are uh, equal. Of course, we're being tendered, but at a very, very later stage. So once the technology is proven, then tender is released for high throughput, uh, high throughput technology. And, uh, can you tell us more about how it works? Because we have seen the demonstration, but can you explain us how it works? So the system actually works in a centimeter wave uh, wavelength. Yeah, you can talk. Actually, has okay. System has a uh, emitting antennas and receiving antennas. Each pillar contains 512 emitting antennas and eight receiving antennas. Uh, we send the radio waves into the inspection zone and reconstruct the field, basically 3D field in this in this frequency range. Uh, also, uh, we overlay it with a stereo video image and we try to uh, analyze the anomalies which we find between this uh, video image and uh, digital image. Those anomalies are we trying to extract the electric permittivity, the electric parameters, density and some other things. And based on that we compare uh, those parameters with the library of explosives. So that uh, way uh, allows us to do automatic threat recognition and automatic alarming. And of course we have some other additional sensors that are helping us to enhance our uh, decision making technology. And of course we use uh, machine learning so we can introduce new type of threats into the system to end teach the system to recognize it. For example, right now we're working for narcotics, for a project with, with UK Border Force right now on our, uh, drug detection. And uh, so far, we actually have very, very good results. We were able to detect uh, drugs. So I hope that can be also useful uh, feature of the system in the future. I don't know if it's enough. Thank you very much. Yeah. Спасибо большое. Merci beaucoup.